stargazer show us atoms. Look, these bubbly dot things are called atoms. They make up pretty much everything. They make up cars and people and animals and monkeys and robots and everything. They make up absolutely everything in the whole wide world, the whole universe. Atoms can turn into three different things. They can turn into solids, liquids, and gases. They can change depending on how hot or cold they are. If they're hot, they are gas. If they are cold, they are solid. And if they're in the middle, then they're liquid. Solids are hard things like ice, rocks, bones, and cars. Liquids are flowy things like water, gasoline, blood, and lava. Gas are airy things like water vapor, smoke, car exhaust, and your breath. Now, do you guys want to hear some gross things? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Uh, yes. No, they're pretty gross. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, here it goes. Something that is gross and is solid is poop. <laughs> <laughs> Something gross that is a liquid is pee. <laughs> and something gross that is a gas is a fart. <laughs> Yuck! Yeah. You can find solids, liquids, and gases in space. Comets are made of solid ice, and asteroids are made of solid rock. Our sun and all the stars are made of gas. And planets are made of solids and gases too. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars that are solid planets. And we have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune made of gases. Liquid's pretty hard to find in the universe, but we have a lot of it on Earth, from oceans to tears. Take a deep breath. You just breathed in some nitrogen atoms. Nitrogen atoms on Earth, because it's pretty warm, are gas. But if you go out into space, you would find nitrogen is cold and would turn into a liquid. Now, you probably don't want to drink liquid nitrogen because that would be very cold. Now, let's look at water. Here, in this cup, I have some very nice water. When I pour it into this pot, you'll see it's still a liquid. When water is a liquid, the atoms in it are flowing around. They're pretty happy. But when we heat them up, they start to get more than happy. They start to get excited, and when they get excited, they start to boil and bubble and turn into gas and pop in bubbles into the air. Now, when they go up in the air and they cool down, they turn back into liquid and fall down because of rain. And then, when they get really cold, they freeze up into ice. All this talk about hot and cold atoms makes me think about hot and cold emotions. When you have a hot emotion, it's when your emotions are way out of control and you have to calm down so that you don't hurt others. Yeah. When you feel a hot emotion, you should take a deep breath <laughs> and count to three. One. Two, three. What about if you feel the cold emotion? Oh, well, then you need the warmest emotion of all, love. Oh. 